This video will cover part 1 questions regarding the topic of the applications of the Pythagorean theorem. The area X is 25 plus 144, which is 169. The second one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So Y equals square root of 7. Now let's check if this answer is correct. The first one, in this triangle, let's say A, B, and C. Using the Pythagorean theorem, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. This side is A, so A squared means the area of the small square, which is 25. Then this side is B, so this one is B. Then B squared means area of the middle square, which is 144. And the last one, C squared means, this part is C, area of the largest square, which is X. So, X equals 169. In the given figure, let's say A, B, C, D, and E are the lengths of each hypotenuse. In the first triangle, 1, 1, and A, using the Pythagorean theorem, 1 squared plus 1 squared equals A squared. Then 1 plus 1 is 2, so 2 equals A squared. In the second triangle, A, 1, and B, then 1 squared plus A squared equals B squared, and 1 plus A squared equals 2 equals B squared, then B squared equals 3. In the third triangle, this one, B, 1 and C, then 1 squared plus B squared equals C squared, then 1 plus B squared is 3 equals C squared, then C squared equals 4. In the fourth triangle, C, 1 and D, then 1 squared plus c squared equals d squared. Then 1 plus c squared equals 4 equals d squared. Then d squared equals 5. In the fifth triangle, one d and e. Then 1 squared plus d squared equals e squared, then 1 plus d squared is 5, equals e squared, then e squared equals 6. Finally, the last one, e, 1, and y, then e squared plus 1 squared equals y squared, then e squared is 6, plus 1 equals y squared, then y squared equals 7, then y equals square root of 7, or minus square root of 7, but this one is a reject, because y is the length, always positive, then finally y equals square root of 7. 
I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment below. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.